Hello. Welcome, 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 friends. I am Heidi with Oni Go Stamping, and welcome to my craft corner. I am so excited that you are here with me today for this little sneak peek of the brand new 2022-2023 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. I am so excited for this catalog. There is so much awesome stuff in it. Um, now, I'm not going to do any stamping tonight, but I do have card samples to share with you using new products. So I have already opened everything. It's not really a true unboxing video, um, but I have some new products to show you. I have some card samples I made with them. And then I think at the end, we're going to take a look at the new 2022-2024 in colors. And we're going to compare them to some current colors and some past Stampin' Up! colors too. So if you are here and joining me today, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know you're watching live. If you are watching the replay, that is awesome too. I'm excited for that. Welcome. And uh, yeah, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out with any questions you have, help you get products, whatever you need. Just go ahead and check out the description to this video. You are going to find a whole bunch of links in there, including a link uh, to email me and links to my Facebook group and uh, links to my website where I have all sorts of information about upcoming events, online classes, all that kind of good stuff. Hello, Teresa. Welcome. So glad you are here. Uh, yeah. And of course, if you want to see more videos for me, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I am going to be live again. All right. On you go. Let's get stamping. I'm going to turn my cameras. Let me see if I can pick the right one <laughs> the first time out of the gate. Probably not. No. Nope. This one. There we go. All right. So, hi, Vicki. Welcome. So glad you are here. All right. So here is, I'm going to slide this back just a little bit. I think I'm getting a little bit of a, a shadow there. Here's the new annual catalog. Of course, I cannot open it up for you yet, um, but hopefully you, have, you are going to get one of those in the mail. All right. Um, if you've requested one from me or, you know, from someone else or whatever. My chair is gone. All right. The first thing I am going to show you. Now, I have opened these up and I pulled out like half the pack. Um, cause I want to make sure that I didn't cut into too much of it. So this is the perfectly penciled paper. I'm going to pull this out to share with you. Look at this. Isn't this so pretty? It's just these gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. It's these like pencil drawings of flowers. We have leaves and more flowers. It's kind of hard to see there. Pull that up just a little bit. There we go. And then some like small flowers. This is upside down. There's some small flowers. And I don't know, some flowers on stems. <laughs> right? How many different kinds of flowers can we get? There we go. There's those ones too. So all sorts of flowers. And then when we turn it over, of course, we just get some black and white patterns. So, so many fun patterns. Oh, and they all have this kind of like pencil-y texture to it. So it's not like solid black. It's just kind of, you know, kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, yeah, you know what I mean. It's not solid. It looks almost chalkboardy in a way, if you ask me. Anyway, so that is the uh, perfectly penciled. You guys, I can't remember the names yet. <laughs> um, I got to figure out where I'm putting this stuff because I don't really want to put it on the floor. Let me show you a sample. Aren't those nice, Vicki? Let me show you a sample with that. I have my camera way, way up tonight, so I'm going to pick this up to show you. So I made this cute little happy birthday card with a window in it. Now, this is also using the new um, Stylish Shapes die set, and I'm going to show that to you, too. Um, but I made this little window in it. Isn't this fun? And it just opens up, and I colored some of that uh, perfectly penciled paper with my Stampin' Blends. And just I, I did do some fussy cutting on here, but I fussy cut that out so that it would show through the window. Isn't that really cool? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, the next thing I have to share, this might be my absolute favorite of things that I've gotten. This is the He's the Man designer series paper. Let me pull this out and show it to you. You're gonna love this. And I have card samples with this too. Now, I this is part of a whole suite. I did not get the whole suite, all right? That's what, you know, I did not get the whole suite. All I got was the paper, but that's okay because you can make cards with just this designer series paper, just the paper. 
nothing else, just the paper. Let me show you why. So we have this really fun like camping motif. Uh, and of course the, the best part is right here on the top, right? It comes with two sheets of these die cuts. Now again, this I'm just showing you half a pack, the other half I've already taken out. But these are all die cuts and they are all like cut out, ready for you, you just punch them out. And I've already made some cards with these, but they would also be awesome for doing scrapbooking too. So really, really great stuff on here. Just love it. And I love the paper too. I'm gonna pull this out. Now I think that once um, once I get done here, I am gonna go ahead and just kind of like punch these all out and put them um, in a tin or something because they just really, they wanna fall out. So, all right, so we have the fun camping paper. We have this really cool checked brown, early espresso paper. Some uh, really rust paper with some cool cars on it. I'm getting really weird shadows tonight too. I apologize this because I have my camera way, way up because I wanted to make sure that everything fit in the screen. And then there's all these like bow ties and arrows and mustaches and straight ties, which is really fun. I love this barbecue paper. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then of course on the back, we just have some great patterns too. So just a early espresso. This one's really cool, isn't that fun? Okay. I'm gonna hold that up a little bit more so you can see it. So it's got dots and checks, really fun. And just like some, I don't know, to me it looks like cross stitch fabric or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's uh, Sahara sand. And then another I think basic black and really rust and some really rust paper. And there's two sheets of those die cuts in there. So let me show you my cards that I have with it. Oh, Teresa, I'm so glad that you liked that perfectly penciled card. All right, let me set those aside so I don't lose any bits and pieces. All right, here is my first card. I'm gonna hold this up. And look at that, I just used those die cuts. Now I did go ahead and I die cut some cardstock using those stylish shapes dies that I'm gonna show you what those look like. But then I use the van and then the sentiment too, just from those die cuts. Super, super easy. There is no stamping on this card. It is just that designer series paper. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and then I got another one. I decided I wanted to make a barbecue card too. Thanks, Vicki. And I, you guys, I just made this tonight. I realized I made it upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. But anyway, it says, you're flipping awesome. And it's got some of that barbecue paper. And again, the die cuts. Oh, so much fun. I think this is just awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited to play with that even more because they're so cool. All right. Next, I'm going to show you a whole suite that I got. So let me get all the bits and pieces here. So this is the Hues of Happiness suite. And it comes with this Happiness Abounds stamp set, which has these beautiful flowers in them. They're so gorgeous. And it has also this Blossoming Happiness dies, which cut out different things. They cut out the stamped images, so they're stamped images, and then they cut out pieces from the designer series paper as well. And then there's these really cool edges, and this one is like, I'll show you on one of the samples. It is like, you know, um, tearing a piece of paper out of your spiral notebook. So I don't know if you like that look or if you know that annoys you. <laughs> Because I could see how that, you know, some people might not like that look of that torn spiral paper. It also has these super pretty, ah, super pretty, pretty, pretty glossy dots assortment. And I think this is gorgeous grape, melon mambo, daffodil delight, and does it tell me? Of course it doesn't tell me. We're going to guess maybe pool party. Let me see. Uh, yeah, there's pool party in the paper, so I'm gonna guess those are pool party too. And that was pretty, so pretty. And then here is the paper. Let me pull this paper out because I think the paper is gorgeous. This is like my favorite paper. It's all these rainbowy colors. So here we have this whole like field of flowers, and then there's all these like little tiny flowers in a rainbow, like every sheet is a rainbow basically. And then we have these, now these are what those die cuts are gonna punch, well die cut out of there too. And then we have one on dark paper. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. You know what? No, these ones are smaller. Some of these might be die cuttable. I haven't tried these. I think maybe these aren't, but these I know for sure I've die cut these. So here's the, the blues and the purple. And then they have a sheet with the yellows and the pinks. And those gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Now let me turn these over because you are going to love the backs too. Look at this. <gasps> it's like all these painted. Like you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the canvas in there. Sam and I has really gotten into this thing where their designers actually paint things and then they take pictures of the paintings and they turn them into designer series paper. And I am sure that that is what they have done with this, but this is so, so pretty. And then of course, the ones with the blues and the purples. Ah! And then this one, they're just so, <gasps> yes, I don't even know if I saw this one. I don't even know if I paid attention to that, but look at that. I don't know why, but I just love those little flowers on that blue. And then this whole rainbow sheet. Ah. And then these are like, I guess they're not even stars. They're like little crosses. You see that? I know the color's not coming through real well, but again, just a rainbow. Really, really, really pretty. Let me show you. I got samples. Got samples with this. All right, here is one. So there is, I actually die cut from that designer series paper to get those roses and the leaves. And then here is that edge that I said was like the spiral paper. So you can see it's kind of torn on there. And I stamped the background, Daffodil Delight on Daffodil Delight. Isn't that fun? <gasps> I just love the way these die cuts look. They're so pretty. But then I decided I was gonna do some without the die cuts. So here is a card where I actually stamped them. And I colored these with my Melon Mambo uh, Stampin' Blends. So, aren't those fun too? And again, I use those new Stylish Shapes dies. And I, what's nice about the Stylish Shapes, I'm gonna show you, they have the stitching on the inside and the outside of the cut. So here I used it kind of as a window. Can you see that? So it has that stitching on it too. And I think that just really, um, really gives it something fun. So, and then again, I stamped with Sahara Sand on Sahara Sand with those same stamps just to kind of give it a background. So that is the next card. Now I'm gonna show you, well here, I have the stylish shape guys. Oh, thanks Cheryl, I'm so glad you like them. So here are those stylish shape guys, check that out. Aren't these cool? There's one, two, three, four, five, six circles, including like this tiny, tiny, tiny circle. And so there's six circles, one, two, three, four, five, squares and again they have stitching on the inside and the outside of the cut and then four different banners so that is going to be really really awesome I know these are, I'm going to use them all the time all the time these are going to be like my new hot go-to dies I'm sure of it thank you Teresa all right more pattern paper to show you so this is um the teacups what's it called the tea boutique and again, this is part of a suite. I didn't get the stamps or the dies to go with this. I just got some of the paper um, and I didn't pull out, I didn't pull out a sampler for you here. So let me, let me reach in. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it this way. All right. So we have lots of teacups and teapots. There's some lemons, fun lemons. We got just some greenery. You can see that, just some greens more teacups, lots of little teacups, some little purple flowers. <laughs> Oops, put that over here because I want to show you all the patterns on the back because I think I like the patterns more than the flowers. More flowers. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> when I saw the stamps, I think it kind of looks like you have weeds growing out of your teacup. <laughs> Um, but the paper is really pretty and the, the teacups are really cute too. I shouldn't say that because they are really adorable. Um, and I love, I love the striped teacup especially. And some more little teapots. Now this use, these use a lot of the new ink colors. I'm gonna show you after this. So there's some more flowers. And some more teapots. And some more flowers. All right, is that it? That's it. So those are all the front designs, all the like flowers and teacups and tea kettles and everything. And then of course we turn it over and we start getting the back design. So we have some sweet sorbet and some ocean oasis, I think. And um, I 
think that this is fresh freesia, petal pink, starry sky. Um, I think this is daffodil delight. I'm not sure, but a really nice stripe. The parakeet party in a stripe. Some more petal pink. Some more starry night. Some more of that bright yellow. Woo. Some of the Tahitian Tide. Wait till you see the Tahitian Tide. I think this might be my favorite new ink color. And then a really nice gingham petal pink. So really, really gorgeous. And of course, I have some more samples. I have some samples with that too. So I still used that same um, Happiness Abound stamp set in here. I actually stamped it on that pattern paper and die cut it with the dies. So isn't that fun? Just kind of made a die cut piece. Now this one I stamped in black on the sweet sorbet paper and put it on the petal pink paper. And then this one, these are very similar, very similar design. But here I embossed it with white on the sweet sorbet paper. And then I backed it on some of that uh, starry sky paper. Thanks, Vicki. So I don't know, which one do you like better? The, the petal pink or the starry sky? I can't decide. And there you can see, oh gosh. Now this is some of the new in color ribbon. I'm gonna show you that in color ribbon too. I just, I only got two rolls of it and I haven't even opened one of them. But check out how sparkly that is. It is like super sparkle. And it like pulls, like you can pull it. Like it's kind of that mesh weave stuff where you can make it, you know, kind of wider. So you can kind of do a, do a distress thing to it and then you pull it and it goes back. So that's really fun. And there's my ooh, Tahitian Tide. All right, in colors. <laughs> I'm gonna start with um, the designer series paper. So, you know, every year Stampin comes, Stampin' Up! comes out with a designer series paper pack that are just kind of a monochromatic print and you can get it in all the colors. So this is the new in color prints. And I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna pull out one of each. So we got some flowers and some kind of a plaid, and this is the starry sky. And here is the Tahish or the parakeet party, which is really bright. And we have some orchard oasis, which is just kind of soft. And some of that Tahitian tide, which is really pretty. More Tahitian tide. The sweet sorbet. Oops, I got turned over. More sweet sorbet. All right. And then we can take these colors and turn them over and we get two more designs. So there's also a stripe and a polka dot. That was fun. And of course, these are going to be available in all of the, the colors, right? So this year's uh, in colors, last year's in colors, and all of the core colors as well. So those come in everything. There's that. Whew. Let's do some color comparison, shall we? Shall we compare some colors? I always think this is really fun. I have the ink pads too, but that's not very exciting. Those are just, you know, the ink colors in the ink pads. All right, let's look at the solid colors. So here's the Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, Ocean Oasis, Starry Sky, and Sweet Sorbet. I'm gonna start with the Tahitian Tide. This is my favorite. I think this is the most uh, unique color. So let me show you what we currently have. This is what I pulled out that I thought maybe you might think was close, but when you see them together, you're going like, oh, those aren't close at all. So I pulled out the Coastal Cabana and the Bermuda Bay. Both of these are super green, especially when you pull in. Look at that. It doesn't show up quite as well on the screen, but in, in view, that Tahitian Tide is so much bluer than those two. But I decided I pulled out some old Tempting Turquoise. I don't know if you remember when we had Tempting Turquoise. And I think Tempting Turquoise is really close. All right. It's really close. Um, really, the Tahitian Tide is just kind of a little bit lighter and brighter. But very close to the old Tempting Turquoise. And that's why I think it's really a color that we do not currently have right now. So really, really excited about the Tahitian Tide. All right, here is Parakeet Party. It is so bright. It is hard to see how bright the Parakeet Party is on camera. <laughs> when I got it, I was like, "Woo!" it is like a neon green, all right? So I pulled out some more greens to share with you. Let me see what I got. So this is Granny Apple Green. 
And then I pulled out one of the old green galores that we used to have ages ago. And I also pulled out Kiwi Kiss. Kiwi Kiss, not even close. This is super yellow. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of the lemon lime twist, which I think is going to be closer to this color. Um, but I, I don't have any. So you can see it's just a lot. Um, it's yellower and it's brighter than the other two. I'm going to put the two retired colors away, though. Let me set those aside. Because I think that the new Parakeet Party and the Granny Apple Green are going to look fabulous together. It's like the Parakeet Party is just a little bit yellower and brighter than the Granny Apple Green. And I didn't think things could get brighter than Granny Apple Green. So that's really fun. All right. Next up, we have Ocean Oasis. Ocean Oasis. So let me pull out some colors. I pulled out some colors that I thought, Mom, Maybe these are closer. All right. So we have Misty Moonlight. All right. An old brocade blue, if you remember brocade blue. An old ballet blue, if you remember ballet blue. And then really old vintage violet, if you remember that. Because I was like, well, maybe one of these is close. Here is the Ocean Oasis. Really not close to the vintage violet. It's kind of close, especially when you look at it on camera. It is a little bit close to that ballet blue, but it's really a lot brighter, bluer. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Definitely not close to the the uh, brocade blue. Is that, yep, brocade blue. And it's definitely bluer, brighter, bluer than the uh, misty moonlight that is going away. So definitely a different color too, whereas it seemed like it was gonna be very similar, but it's very different. All right, next up. Sweet sorbet. So here's the sweet sorbet. I'll pull that out. Now let me show you what colors I have to compare it with. So we got some real red, right? Real red. We got some poppy parade. I pulled out an old piece of rose red and an old piece of purely pomegranate. I love this color. I miss that. I was really hoping it would be closer to something like that. And then an old piece of lovely lipstick. I didn't pull out any magenta madness. Really, these are all too pink. I was hoping it would be a pinker color, um, but it's not. So I'm gonna put those pinky colors away. Now here is the Sweet Sorbet next to Poppy Parade and Real Red. And I think, to me, it just looks like a dull Real Red. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like they just faded the Real Red. That's what it looks like to me. So it's a pretty color. It's gonna look nice. It gives you a nice, um, you can do a nice monochromatic look with the real red in it. So that's the Sweet Sorbet. And then last up, we have the new Starry Sky, which is this really, really pretty blue. And I thought it was gonna, I was like, that looks just like Blueberry Bushel, if you remember Blueberry Bushel. So let me show you what I pulled out to compare it with. I got me some Night of Navy. I got some of that blueberry bushel because I was like, it's blueberry bushel. And I pulled out some Pacific Point, which is current as well. So now when I bring in the starry sky, let's see how it compares. You know, it looks closer on the screen. When I'm looking at my screen, it looks closer to the blueberry bushel than it does in person. In person, um, I don't even know how to, like, the starry sky in a way is a little bit redder but it's not red, it's very, very blue. But when you compare it to these blues, these blues are cooler. And this is just, I don't know, it's just a really nice, a really nice blue. I wish I had some old brilliant blue to compare it to, because maybe it'd be closer than that, but I think the brilliant blue would be brighter. So a blue, just a blue blue with no like real green in it, I guess. So those are the new ink colors. Lots of sample cards for you. Lots of papers, all sorts of, you know, that was just a quick, a quick little, quick little showing of things. Of course, I'm going to have lots more with this stuff coming up in the next few weeks, right? Well, probably not in the next few weeks. I'll probably stick with, you know, some retiring products and things like that. Um, although, you know, if you, there are stamp sets that you want that are on the retiring list, make sure you get those because they are going super fast. This is the first year. Normally the stamp sets are available through the whole catalog period. This year for the first time, they're only available while supplies last and they are going fast. 
really, really fast. So if there's something you want, make sure you go and you get it before it is gone. So anyway, I'm going to have lots more samples coming up, though, in the future with all these because they are just fabulous, fabulous sets. And y'all, I've already ordered more. <laughs> I can't believe it. I already went and ordered more because um, I had to order some other stuff too. So I was like, well, let's throw another new bundle on. So that's going to that's gonna be coming next week. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will join me next Tuesday night for another round of mystery stamping on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then again, I will be live on Thursday with another stamping demonstration. Um, me? I'm not sure what I'm going to be sharing next week, but it should be fun. I'm going to share how to make some cards with you. And I hope you'll come back and see me 8 p.m. Eastern uh, live right on YouTube. So thank you again for coming tonight. And I will see y'all next week. Have a fabulous, fabulous weekend.